Good day everybody, hope you're doing alright. So it's time for the predictions video. In this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about all these new skins that rotated into Rustor about six hours ago. And we're going to go ahead and figure out which of these skins potentially might be the best investment this week. Which of these skins could potentially give us some of those delicious looking profits. So straight up, you might realise this already has bare minimum 8,000 sales. Remember, the bare minimum sales is based on the subscriber count. Everyone who purchases this skin by default will become a new subscriber. So that means at least 8,167 people have have bought this see-through glow in the dark garage door skin even though this is currently selling for four dollars a piece everyone's still jumping in and attacking it so you are probably well aware that we had the brewster skin introduced today and well i guess face punch wants to introduce a very nice skin with it this week to kind of promote the idea of using brutalist but by default people are probably going to still use this anyway so hopping over to here you can see that there's a lot of vision there that is probably going to be <laughs> A little bit exploitable, maybe a little bit pay to win, ha ha ha. But, you know, with this currently selling for $4, it does have a direct competitor. What do we see over here? Bombshell Garage Door is currently selling for $4 in the Steam market. Now we know that this only has about 22,000 in circulation. So we just use SMM here real quickly to get this information and pass it on to you. With the perfect visual, I scroll down and you can see it only has 22,000 apparently in circulation. All right, this right here, six hours in, 8,000 bare minimum sales. So take that into consideration. How much do you reckon this might sell over the course of a week? All right, so moving on to the likes of this, $4 at the moment, it might get cheaper. It might start to rebound and go back up in price. There's like next to no... Um, you know next to no quantity so it's a decision for you to make but if we quickly move on to the workshop take a look at this do you reckon that has more vision at the very least you can see more you can see more on the left for example back over to here you can't see that much on the left right so the choice is yours but you have to take into consideration how much might this sell it will be competing with a bombshell which do you prefer and could this still potentially in the long term work out very nicely I am a little bit hesitant with the amount of sales it might get, but I could still see it gradually increasing as price as time goes on. We should remind you how the bombshell garage door first initially behaved. Because, well, it didn't do very well initially. It did pretty bad. In fact, it just kind of went all the way down to about $1.50 at one point. October 2022, it was selling for $1.50. Post-Christmas happened, and then it went all the way up to about $2.20 around January 2023 time. Went back down to a very low point. About $1.50 again around March of 2023. Then people started making TikTok videos about it. Up and up. And then it went to about $8 around July time. And ever since then, the autumn fall seasonal dip, it's gone down in price. This very likely will rebound and go back up in price around January time, January 2024. Will that perfectly work out? Or will that kind of be ruined because this now exists? We shall see. But based on what I'm seeing here, this is easily going to do 30,000 plus sales. Will it actually retain that $4 price? Well, it's abnormal. I don't have to rush into buying it. I'd rather wait until Wednesday, do the abnormal barters first, and then, yeah, you get the whole routine. I'll look at the support and make a decision then. All right. We did that basically last night with the double sheet metal door, the bombshell double sheet metal door. And well, <laughs> you take one quick look at this and you can see with the barters that it has, it looks like it's definitely going to be retaining its value for quite some time. As you can see here, this literally sold for $2.50 just literally last week, and it instantly had about a thousand buy orders at $2.50. So over the course of last night and, well, early to day you could have just bought it and well it's probably going to be a perfectly fine investment as time goes on so that's what we're going to do that's how we're going to act we're going to play this patiently safely and usually that works out all the better for us so i'm somewhat confident in this now i'm going to move on to likes of tier 3 armor the thunder gold tier 3 armor that is so by default we are now anticipating the potential arrival of hoodie and pants and tier 2 the other core pieces so with what we have here i should just kind of point this out we don't really see that many white collections for clothing and armor, do we? All of this year, the only white one. Scroll down, all of that year, no white. All of this year, <laughs> we do see white out there for 2021. But yep, no mercy in 2020. You do have the test dummy there. You do have doodle there. What I'm saying is, is you can't really sit here and say that this new collection is the budget white out set because we've had other skin collections that are even cheaper that have white as well. So don't look at it that way. Look at it as if... Right, on the horizon, can we anticipate more skins being made? Yes, but when likely will they be made? Maybe not until November. Next week is Charitable Rust. The week after that, Halloween week one. The week after that, Halloween week two. And then after that, it's November. So please keep that in mind. 
knowing that we also have to acknowledge that they're also abnormal you probably don't have to jump in and buy them right now but at the very least if you happen to like them please consider buy it use it enjoy it support those skin creators because well i don't know maybe this might work out instantly maybe it won't it's a matter of we have to keep an eye on the workshop. You know how that usually plays out. I like it. I think it looks cool. I don't think we're going to see anything white gold like this. So I think we could probably be a little bit optimistic for this. Right, Mr. Micro? Do you reckon we could be a little bit optimistic for this in the future? <laughs> <laughs> Micro helped support make this. So, yeah. I feel like a lot of people will be looking at that thinking, look, I can't afford whiteout collection, which right now is still pricey, even though we're currently going through the bad times. You can see right here, that's actually pretty expensive right now. I mean, the kilt, $10. That chest plate, still $3. Face mask is $7. It's still somewhat pricey. This will also get quite expensive when we hit January 2024 time. So I think a lot of people kind of look at that and think, you know what? I can afford that. I could use that instead. And I think a lot of people would be appreciating the design of it regardless. Look at that. Looking very cool. Got a little good little sign there. Little gift there showing off. Thunder. <sighs> Come on. Yeah. <laughs> So I think this has a pretty decent future ahead of it. But what we should point out is we've recently had quite a lot of tier 3 armor. Not too long ago with the Redemption. And then before that, we did see the likes of the tier 3 Rhino. But then again, this is good for the desert. This is just good for showing off. And this potentially could be very good for the snowy Arctic areas. The choice is yours if you want to make some considerations. But with the amount of sales that we've seen, it really does look like people are showing some appreciation for this. It really does look like there's a lot of demand. So let's keep an eye on it. Let's see how many sales it does after 24 hours. Keep an eye on my Twitter for that. 48 hours for when we do a video talking about that. And then as of Thursday. But yeah, abnormal bar does first. Look at the support afterwards. And you know what? I'm feeling confident with it. So let's see how that turns out. Right. What are we going to talk about next? In terms of half, maybe, I'm going to talk about the Ronin Roadside Gloves. Ronin Roadside. Sorry, it sounded a bit weird. So anyway, um, it's been very weird with this collection, because uh, you might not realise this, but every single pick that you see here was an early skin. Like, quite literally, these appeared on the weekend, and then the next Rust store, this was instantly accepted. This appeared over the weekend. It was instantly accepted in the next Rust store. This was literally made this past weekend instantly accepted in today's rust store so yeah i'm pretty sure face punch really does like this set i wouldn't be surprised if hoodie and pants made at some point in november instantly accepted then we got a full collection so on the horizon that's something to expect i am confident that this is going to get a nice bump when we see that hoodie and pants along with the likes of the tier 2 and the tier 3 armor everything's looking pretty good for this collection um now the only other thing that we could worry about is the redemption collection maybe we will see that tier 2 armor being accepted next week um that could happen and of course this is still currently active so there's some other skins that might potentially clash with the likes of ronin collection Poss potentially the ronin hoodie and pants but i'm confident that we will be seeing more so anyway, looking at all of the road sign glove skins, you might notice that the ones that tend to do a fair bit better are collections that have actual full collections. Now, when times are good, pretty much every single road sign glove skin tends to be in the positive. You might notice like training road sign gloves aren't doing super great at the moment. High quality metal gloves aren't doing super good at the moment. Well, these came out during like September, October, the autumn fall seasonal dip. Only like today, we only reached 122,000 peak players. That's not that much. Maybe we'll see a little bit more over the weekend, potentially, possibly. But October is probably going to be equally as bad as September in terms of player count and whatnot. I reckon we just got to get past October. November is where we're going to start seeing improvement. December is going to be good. January is going to be great. I'm still expecting 100,000 average player count for uh, January 2024. So at the very least, I think things are going to be okay. I just kind of think this is going to retain its value. So with a very decent buy order, you could probably grab a bunch of these and then maybe you'll be able to flip them for a very decent price when we see hoodie and pants appear. Or maybe loads of people appreciate the full, the full collection. But even buying some, I actually think it might work out quite all right. Now, these aren't abnormal. So if you're very, very concerned, leave it until Wednesday or Thursday. See how many sales have happened. Make a comparison to the amount of uh, the amount of tier two, uh, tier two that sold. Sorry, tier two that sold or tier three. You know, it, so as long as it matches up with either of these, it should be okay. And then of course, hoodie and pants appear, and then spike and demand, spike and price. You know the whole routine. So things are optimistic for it. Things are looking pretty good, and I feel confident that we will see this being accepted, uh, being completed. <laughs> sorry, it's a bit late. 
Right, and then the last thing I want to talk about is the SAR. Now, I'm actually thinking this will still dip below its rust store price. Uh, if you take a look at all the SARS, you might notice that, uh, yeah, um, they're not really holding up very well, which is awkward because SARS are definitely used a lot. SARS are definitely appreciated. Gun demand is very good. However, I still expect it to go below its rust store price a fair bit. Maybe it won't last forever. That's fine. It's probably only going to last through in October. So a very good buy order is going to be the smart choice. But when you look at all the Chameleon collection, look how much they've dipped. 15, 8, 6. Is this, is this it at its worst? Because that's not that bad. You can acknowledge that, yes, they've gone down in price. Cool. Fair enough. But, but basically the point is that if that's it at its worst... What's it going to look like when it's at its best? What's it going to look like around January 2024 time? So, like I was like I was saying, I do anticipate that this potentially might go down to about two dollars, maybe only for the month. But you know, when loads of people return in December, see this collection and think, "Wow, that looks cool," and then they buy weapon racks and whatnot, and they need to flex and be extra shiny looking and cool and. <laughs> you get the idea. It's an interesting looking collection that I think is going to basically perform exactly like the uh, Redemption collection. And I wouldn't be surprised if Mr. Miller Frito ends up making doors, clothing and armor for it. Wouldn't be surprised, uh, surprised in the slightest. He's the man behind the Tempered collection. So you should expect that he's going to be grinding out everything he possibly can with it. It's going to look great. And I think loads of people are going to be appreciating all of it. And this man's been at it for years. Like, look at all of this. He's been making skins ever since 2016. 2015. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Got that wrong. But yeah, he definitely will be making even more and uh, just stay optimistic. Now, the SAR itself, aimed down the site, what do we see? Well, first of all, first of all, very nice and shiny, as you can see. Very nice. And uh, if we just look at the aim site, it is good for all environments. It's a nice blend of green and purple. As you can see here, you've got a nice bit of green on the tip, but all around it on the outline is all purple. So it's perfectly fine for the grassy areas. That should be perfectly fine. And uh, yeah, so whilst I can still expect that it's going to go below its rustle price a fair bit, a very good buy order this Wednesday because it's abnormal. We can do that. And then, yeah, so all good. That's my uh, thoughts on all of these skins this week. Any skin I didn't mention is because I don't feel confident in them based on, uh, you know, if they could be profitable. Like UAP Pilot Satchel, people don't like skinning their satchels. They explode, they disappear. Why would you skin something like that? It's awkward, but take a look at all the most recent ones and you can easily see there's no demand for them. And then you look at the likes of the MP5. Now, MP5s did get a buff today. But I don't think a lot of people are too invested in the likes of the concentric collection. So I just don't imagine this is going to be doing insanely. But do keep an eye on all MP5s. With this buff, we might see the return of loads of people liking to use the MP5s again. And maybe all the skins might work out quite all right. We shall see. But again, you've got to keep an eye on people on Twitch, YouTube and Twitter and see their opinions and whatnot. And then uh, with the Neanderthal furnace, I just don't trust furnaces. Take a look at this furnace right here and you might see that, uh, well... It's probably not looking super optimistic for its future. You can't really count Moon because it literally only just became marketable today. But out of all of these furnaces, early Abyss is doing all right. Scroll to last year, only Porcelain is doing all right. All of these doing bad. And then scroll down to here, only Snowman is doing all right. All of these are doing bad. So yeah, things aren't looking very good for furnace skins, especially in the short term. Even though this potentially will be turning into a deplorable collection, it's still looking a bit awkward. But if it doesn't sell that much... Things might be interesting because if it does turn into a deplorable collection, there's only so many of these in circulation. And well, if the demand is increasing, then the prices will be going up very easily. And then the Arctic Skull Custom SMG. Um, I don't think people are going super crazy for the Arctic Skull collection. And then there's the Custom SMGs, which, uh, well, yeah, <laughs> that might very well become like a 70 cent to 90 cent buy order. It is what it is. It's awkward. I'm sorry, but we've got to look at this from a financial perspective. We've got to make sure we're safe and we don't lose money. Otherwise, what's the point in doing this? So, yeah, got to be nice, patient, take your time, do the abnormal buy orders. You get the whole routine. Thank you very much for watching. Best of luck to all of your investments.